So welcome everybody. Uh, this is the Project Data Analytics community. We've got um, uh, various things going on tonight. We've got the, the prize giving from Project Hack 13, which was a couple of weeks ago. So a big thanks to those people who participated in that. And a big thanks to our sponsors as well, and particularly the APM. So thank you very much. Um, so next slide, please, Sophie. So this presentation is recorded and it's uploaded to our website. So not the prize given necessarily, but we will be uh, with some of the talks later. So if you've got any problems with that, you know, then turn your video off um, and let us know if you want anything cutting out. So what we're trying to do through this community is to pull together uh, people from the project program and portfolio management community and join them up with data analysts and data science people. And that's where the magic happens. So we're trying to exploit this rich seam of project data, uh, demonstrate the art of the possible, uh, be a really positive force for change. I think we're demonstrating that. So just look at some of those hack challenges and the videos that have come out of it, really inspirational stuff. What we're also trying to do is to develop these new cadre of skilled professionals. I've been teaching on the apprenticeship today. It's very clear to me that some of these people are gonna be in brand new jobs. These jobs didn't exist probably two years ago. I think we'll see some of this tonight as well. So what we're also trying to do is to pull people together through this collegiate network and really start to drive this. And lastly as well, we can help to spin up some new companies, right? We can get people who are um, sort of innovators and through the data trust, we can give them access to data and they can start to really push the envelope at pace. And I think that's really exciting. So we start to enable this change. So a big thanks to our sponsors tonight. So the gold sponsor was the APM. So as a headline sponsor, so it was the APM and we couldn't have done it without you, right? It was an expensive venue, um, food and beer and everything else. So a big thanks to all of our sponsors, Jacobs, McAlpine, Gleeds. My own company put a lot into it as well. Um, Oak and Group, Emplan, Environment Agency and Nodes and Links. So thank you so much. We raised uh, a chunk of money for cancer research as well. Um, and I'll come on to that in a bit. So a big round of applause. We come up from you and say thank you to the sponsors. Thank you very much. All right, great, next slide. So um, if you could go onto this QR code here, um, you get a chance. So if you attended Project Hack 13, so what did you think of it? So what do you want to see improved? What do you think of your challenge, the support, you know, everything else that was in there? Uh, and you get 50% off your next hack ticket as well, which is always a bonus feature. Um, so please get involved if you can. Uh, next one. So the prize is tonight. So the winner gets £3,000 as a team. And that's in Amazon vouchers. Uh, second place is a thousand pound. Third place is seven hundred and fifty pounds. And fourth place is two hundred and fifty pounds. And it's not just the cash, right? It's kudos. You are pushing the boundaries on this stuff. I've got a presentation a bit later. Where we're going to now start to accelerate, and we're going to sort of up the ante on this. But what we'd like to do as well, uh, for the people in the top places, if you can, can you help us to productionize some of this? So we can get it onto the Solutions Centre and open source it for everybody. we would be really grateful if you can help with that. Our next slide please, Sophie. So there's loads and loads of solutions out there. So if you go to the YouTube channel, so the Projecting Success YouTube channel, there's the um, Project Hack 13 uh, videos in there. They're all about five minutes each. Um, with two minutes of questions at the end. And if you want to save yourself some time, then watch them on times 1.5 and that'll just speed it all up. But there's some really great inspiration. So if you're getting into project data analytics, you're not sure what it's all about, you're not sure how far we can push it, just take a look at some of those videos. And that's stuff that was achieved in two days and it's quite remarkable in places. Slide. So if I can now welcome to the stage Andy Murray. Now, Andy's sat in a hotel somewhere with a dial-up broadband by the sound of it. So Andy's going to be a video -less. Uh, But welcome, Andy. If you could say a few words, please. Thank you. Yeah, good evening, everyone. And uh, sorry, I got 
video on so you can see the lovely 1980s uh, decoration in my hotel. But uh, um, yeah, uh, echo Martin's uh, introduction there in terms of the, uh, the the quality of the solutions put together uh, for, for all of the teams uh, when we went through the, the videos. And uh, it's just incredible what can be achieved uh, in, in just two days. In fact, um, I think you're being uh, a little bit unkind there, there, there Martin, because it's less than two days, isn't it? Because, you know, by the time they've listened to the to the hack uh, challenges and they formed a team and they've got their head around what's the what's needed and then uh, and then obviously then prepare the pitch now on, uh, on day two is probably. Incredible, really. So drum roll in terms of the the, the fourth place um, as uh, as um, reviewed by the judges and uh, that goes to team 5B. Um, if we can have the next slide, I'll just run through who that team was. Yeah, round of applause, well done. Yeah, so that was the no code continuum team. So that's uh, well done to Ben, George, Matteo, uh, David and Dan. And uh, this was one that looked at the um, the, the, the risk data uh, for assets, uh, trans transport for London. And, uh, you know, I think the, the standout for me uh, for this one was the, in a, you know, the, the use of additional data sets, publicly available data sets beyond that, which they were, were given for the challenge to go to show that when you start overlaying more and more data sets, you know, the additional insights that you're able to gain. So I would, uh, you know, um, suggest the teams in the future when you're, when you're following up on some challenges, keep asking that question, uh, you know, is there any other data that we can add to what we've already been provided to provide, you know, to get that additional insight? So, so well done to team no code continuum. Okay, superb. Thank you very much. And I would, would like to say in terms of um, the scoring, right? So we had a load of judges, over 30 judges. They all scored it. They gave it to the top five. Those top five went to the moderation panel. Um, and that was scored by three people, right? So they all got together and they talked about the challenges, they looked at the potential to pick these up and do something with it, etc. So this is the results of that moderation panel. So now drum roll, please. Over to third place, back to Andy in the 1980s. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. So uh, in third place, uh, once we've got that drum roll, is Team 2D. So that was uh, Safe Way Home. And uh, Team 2D, um, which comprised Amelia, uh, Kayo, Rachel, Jeremiah, uh, Julia, Zhao and Ashwin, uh, they um, picked up the challenge from um, highways, uh, sorry, national highways, and they were looking at the health and safety uh, performance indicators across their subcontractors. Uh, and there are a, a number of things that really stood out here, I think particularly making it really easy with that sort of people first approach for that data capture in the first instance with sort of digital data entry, whether that's scanning existing forms or, or, or other means. And they really thought through, you know, suggestions going forward, how that could be further further improved. And then the dashboard, you can see a little sort of thumbnail of it there, but the uh, the KPIs, the performance indicators for the health and safety, you know, there were different dimensions and you'll be able to sort of filter and sort of layer that up, whether that's by contract or by site. So there were some really neat ways that the, uh, the data was then presented to get that insight uh, and that uh, call to action about how you can prevent future health and safety instances. So well done. Uh, third place team 2D Safeway Home. Well done. Excellent stuff, guys. So um, next slide, please, Sophie. So second place is Breeder there. I'm not sure she is. So uh, if Breeder is not available, um, I shall do it. Right. So in terms of second place, um, so if we look at the previous one, the previous presentation, uh, um, I talk about health and safety. Just imagine if we can build on that, right? Everybody starts to use the same systems, the same tools. It means we can give these to the supply chain. Everybody all starts to pull together. But we can build on it and build on it and build on it. And we start to save lives as a consequence, right? Really cool. So, drum roll, please, for second place. It goes to. Go for it, Sophie is challenge seven well done so there's some discussion about this in the panel session so i was sat in the panel session and i didn't have a vote so it had nothing to do with me um 
I just sat in there. There's some debate about this, um, about where it should come in terms of the order. And I think uh, in terms of the panel, they basically said is that this has got so much potential, right? And I think it's laid the foundation for something really, really big. So we can start to build on this through the community so we can start to automate a lot of the boring and mundane work that we're currently doing. So I think it's demonstrated the art of the possible, it's done everything the community believes in doing, uh, and I think it's the great showcase, so it's the start of something potentially really, really big. So it's automating the workflow process um, for writing reports, etc. So big round of applause to Will, Ben, Stephen and Syed. Well done. Cool. Um, so if I could pass over to our headline sponsor now, to Rebecca, uh, for the £3,000 first place. Over to you, Rebecca. Thank you, Martin. And good evening, everyone. And I'm absolutely delighted to be announcing the winning team from the Project Data Hack 13, sponsored by APM. Just before I announce the winners, I would just like to say that obviously I came to the event and I witnessed for myself just the energy, the passion and commitment from all the teams. So well done to, to everyone that took part. And just, you know, from APM perspective, we're absolutely committed going forward to continue to support and sponsor uh, the event. OK, so without further ado, to the next slide, big drum roll. So yes, I'm absolutely delighted to announce that the winning team is the is the team 2B. So congratulations to Anastasia, Joe, Richard, Ross, Mariano and Rob. So this uh, this winning entry, if you like, um, this team, they developed an application to compare and manage health and safety performance indicators for, for subcontractors. And I think they got some absolutely excellent feedback from the judges there. So team, I don't know, Anastasia or, or one of the team members, if you're there, if you would like to say a few words. Any takers? Uh, I'm here. I'm, I'm Joseph Quinn. I'm here off on the camera. Hello. Hi, Joe. Yeah, well Thank done, you. Joe. Thank you. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone else from my team is here. I know they're listening in because we had a WhatsApp chat. Oh. Um, but yeah, this was, uh, I think this is my fourth or fifth hack, um, but it was the first hack for many of the other team members. And we didn't know anyone when we when we started, we didn't know each other. So it, it was a great event to sort of work with people from other companies and uh, industries and professions. And in the space of about the morning, we'd formed a team and we were really starting to get going. Um, and I think it was that mix of different talent and experiences and backgrounds. And when you sort of compile that all together, you start to generate really good solutions like we have here. Um, so it was all, yeah, it's a really good mix of the team. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm a bit surprised we, uh, with the results. So I'm uh, a bit short for words, but yeah, really, really happy with the results. So thank you very much. Um, yeah. Well, congratulations and richly deserved. And I believe your prizes are on their way to you so martin back to you okay superb so well done you get 500 pounds each by the look of it six of you in the team uh, three thousand pounds oh yeah that's right yes <laughs> that myself then for a minute uh right so in terms of the feedback report if you want to go and look at some of the feedback in there um and the results of the moderation panel it's now in the community site so look at that qr code and everything is on there um and you'll see comments as well. I would recommend, so you, in terms of the hacks, if you come along to the hacks on a frequent basis, then please take a look at that QR code because it'll give you a lot of guidance. So what to do to improve your future uh, presentations and pictures and the way you go about the challenges, etc. And some of you are getting quite good at it now. So well done. Um, so a big thanks to the winning teams and a big thanks to everybody for taking part.